Hey everyone, Social Solipsist here with a bit more prey, and hopefully we are quickly approaching the boss. Um, this may in fact be the boss room. Uh, there was a whole pool of stuff right here. I just fought a whole bunch of dudes to get here. So I'm hoping this is it, or very close to it. Um, if by some chance we do not make it to the boss in this episode, they royally screwed up their dramatic timing. I mentioned this in the last video. We're gonna see if they did or didn't. This sure looks like a boss to me. That's not the kind of animation you throw away on anybody. Yep. Pro tip, never say anything is no match for anything else. Because the moment you say that, you faded yourself to be... You're, not only are you, A, the bad guy, but B, you faded yourself to be on the wrong side of somebody's plot armor. You have created a battle that you cannot win because narrative structure won't allow it. So I guess we're just going to get thrown... We're going to have to run the gauntlet and then finally fight the Keeper, possibly. This better... This. I mean, that was that was a heck of a... I mean, it's not a cutscene, but it was a cutscene-ish type thing. The closest thing we've gotten to one. So, if that was not... Um, if this is not the final battle, I'll be pretty surprised. Oh, not another one of these. Shit. Fuck. They made the last boss a mini boss, or a, just a regular kind of cannon fodder enemy. It's uh, it's pretty rough. <laughs> that hard work you just did, where you killed your girlfriend, doesn't mean shit. Now, 
narratively, obviously, this uh, this twist is nothing new. Um, you know, it's been written in many a uh, many a uh, piece of fiction, but that doesn't mean that it isn't interesting or worthwhile. Jesus, there we did kill it at least. However, it is not surprising. I mean, the whole meat processing, having a spaceship like like two thirds the size. Oh, hello. Didn't I already kill one of you in like four shots from this thing? We're gonna find out. No, I missed that one, but two, three, four. Five. Close enough. Ah, here we are. Oh good, that's what I needed during this bo boss fight. Screaming children outside my window. I'm hoping you can't hear them, because I sure can. But, oh, that's, that's really bad. I died at the same time he did, which means he's just lying there. And the dramatic tension of killing the final boss is fairly ruined. Oh boy. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. What the fuck now? <sighs> Game, you're disappointing me. I don't even understand what I'm supposed to be doing. He's just throwing shit at me and I have to dodge? There's multiple there as well. Or at least I thought there were. And of course he teleports away just as I'm about to... Yeah, there's two. Well, testing my patience game. I'm not going to take back what I said at the beginning of the game. I still think it's a very, you know, it's a novel and interesting game. But right now, I'm not having a huge amount of fun with it mostly because I'm getting utterly destroyed at every turn like there's very little I can do but get shot especially since I'm not getting I'm not getting my ammo replenished so I have I have regular rifle ammo. And they have invincibility states, which is... Fuck. They're both invincible, right? Okay. At least one of them isn't. God damn it. Also, the fact that there is no health bars right now is really putting me off, since this is still... 
by all accounts, still part of the same fight. I mean, at least narratively. Sons of bitches. Is that what the game wants to do? Is is frustrate fr frustrate the hell out of the player? Fuck you. Have some laser. I killed one of them. Thank God. I'm glad I noticed the things on the walls. Where's the other one? Oh. Ran away. Okay. Or did I kill both of them? I guess they both dropped soul patch things. So maybe I killed them both. Fuck you. It's telling me leech, but I don't know where. Ah, there. use this to my advantage if it's here. It's probably here for a reason. Oh, another one showed up. Good. Good. The fencing around all this as well is like getting in the way of my ability to combat them, which doesn't help with my frustration either. Just level design issues. Of which the game has plenty, but admittedly it also made its own its own uh, its own job harder by having one of the main mechanics be you know time space distortion. Just keep throwing shit, you dick. Oh, there's another one! Why is there another one? Didn't I just kill one already? Are there three in this room? And I'm almost completely out of it. Like, I'm gonna start using the wrench pretty soon. Stuck on an obstacle. There we go. See, that's just not enough ammo they're giving me. Like, they're giving me ammo, yeah, but not nearly enough. They're, it, it appears as though they're, like, expecting you to have, have full ammo when you go into this fight. But you literally can't, because they make you fight, like, three, four dozen enemies beforehand. Both in the lead-up and in the pre-boss fight. And I'm going to die again. 
I'm gonna die again because it's it's what the game wants me wants me to have. Yeah, what happened to uh Here's a question. What happened to whatever the leader of the hidden? Like I've been thinking the whole time she was a little little hinky. Didn't make didn't make total sense. Could definitely like backstab us, but the voices sounded too different. On the other hand, we don't know. I mean, it could have just been uh, a case of poor writing and poor continuity or she could have survived and come back to fuck us up that could be who's on our telepathic phone call so to speak oh come on come on fuck you come on Oh, come on, why another one? <sighs> there, there, I, I really hope there isn't yet another boss fight. I'm dead again. Dead yet again. Why wouldn't I be dead? I'm not bitter. I'm not uh, bemoaning the game design here. Nope. Everything's fine. My neighbors are being loud as shit again, though. I can tell you that. It certainly doesn't help with my frustration level at this game. <laughs> Not really. I'm not frustrated. It's just design-wise here they've made some writing and tone and and game design and level design and other various choices that I do not think I do not think were a good idea. That's pretty ill-advised. Okay, so it just straight up murdered a bunch of them so that it could gain my trust, which it clearly does not have. It's not very smart, is it? All right, well, this looks... Okay. Wait, why? Now the controls are all changed. Wait, I don't understand. What am I doing? Now I'm just, now I can't, what? I don't even know what I'm doing. She just says, I await you within. What? I'm stuck to this outside wall, by the way. Like, I don't... I've got a zapper, but I... Oh. Well, that would have been nice if you told me that shit. So you you go in by, by clicking the uh, right mouse button. 
that has absolutely zero relation to uh, anything that the game has done before with the thing, but that's, oh my god. Guys, you can't, you can't do that. You can't, it's, it's a sin to rewrite your, you know, to, to forego everything you've taught the player up until the end of the, at the end of the game. And it's something that happens commonly and I've spoken about before. It's a whole other thing when you just straight up show them more or less the exact same control, or the exact same situation as they've seen a bunch of times before and then you completely rewrite your controls. Who thought that was a good idea? Who... And then don't explain a goddamn thing, obviously. Like, this doesn't even make sense. Tommy doesn't even say, I'm gonna fucking destroy it, or something. It's just, I await you within. Mm, okay. Why am I stuck now? I was just randomly... It made a noise and I was randomly stuck. Why? I guess maybe I got hit and didn't notice it. And then you gotta keep waiting for the other one, this one to come around. Is that all of them? I think that was all of them. I hope that was all of them. There we go. I don't know what the fucking point of that was. Well. Look at... <sighs> Suddenly, techno music. Um, well, time to find out what, what to do. I am still kind of low on ammo. Not that, not that, not that. Uh huh. Is that all of them? He was pretty close. One more, maybe? Okay, anything else? Thought I hit all of them, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do if I have. I thought something would happen. Wait, what? I didn't shoot through it, did I? I don't pretty sure I didn't. So I don't know. 
Um, I'm kind of lost. Oh, I can't redo those. Okay, so I guess I gotta shoot them with the spirit gun and then with a real gun. And maybe the whole thing shatters. Oh. Hey, buddy. Can you not, please? Can you can you go away? Also, it's funny that here of all places, she's warping in like just the run of the mill guys instead of anybody special. That's just like a floating set of lungs. It's kind of crazy. I wasn't even paying attention. Apparently Talon did something. Oh, okay, this is just fucking zen. Like, this is the the Half-Life 1 fight. <laughs> or pretty close to it. Looks like a Metroid with a person inside its head. Do I though? Is that what happens? Okay, apparently I can't just shoot her. So what can I do? Press buttons, that's what I can do I guess. Hey, let's do something gimmicky for the final fight. No one's ever done that before. No one's ever thought that that was a bad idea. Is that all of them? I think there were only the three. Uh, the question is... Do I have to press them again to fire or something? Are they orienting themselves? I can't actually I can't actually tell what's going on with them. There's something I'm supposed to be doing here that I'm not understanding. close to death as well, which... Like, if it weren't for the gimmicky laser thing, this would be the Zen fight, pretty much. Is there a place I'm supposed to trigger it? I don't, I don't get this. She destroyed one of them. I don't know what... Oh, am I supposed to destroy them? Oh, are they grenades? Are they just giant grenades? Also, I'm about to die. Are they really just... That'd be... Oh, man. Are you for real? I thought they were like... I thought it was like a combo laser thing. Ah. Oh.
This is um, this is prey, everyone. This is what happens when prey runs too long. On the plus side, I haven't like. Uh, I was about to say I haven't died. I've only died once. Let's say that. If she had killed me like eight times while I was trying to figure out what the fuck to do, that would be way worse. Oh, am I supposed to go do something dumb like go into spirit form and shoot her? Evidently not. Apparently even blowing up the grenade things isn't the right thing to do. What am I supposed to do? I don't get it. I'm honestly super confused. Especially because, like, I don't know if it's just the animation and it doesn't actually mean anything. But those buttons have like two states that look like they should be on and off, but don't actually function that way. It's not a toggle, it's like an actual... Like you see now how they're or it's all green and oriented, but it doesn't actually change anything about the... <sighs> what am I doing? What am I... Oh, am I supposed to run up on these rocks and fucking... Probably not that either. Yeah, if this doesn't start going somewhere in a few moments, I'm going to have to look up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the bombs take down her shield and then I have to shoot her. That's still super dumb, but it at least it's not... I don't know. <laughs> at least it's not what? What, what. what is it at least not? At least it's not total trash? Nah, it's kind of crap. It's pretty bad. It's one of the more unpleasant boss fights I've experienced. And I've done some pretty unpleasant ones. There's a lot of them out there. Where even is she? Get near one of the bombs. And I'm dead again. <laughs> Not great, guys. Not great. Holy cow. I mean, obviously I'll be able to do it. I'm just going to have to grind it out, but I shouldn't have to grind it out. That's not that's not how you do a boss fight. It's not fun. It's not interesting. I'm dead again. boss fight is supposed to feel like the epic finale between, you know, the person you've hated for so long and your ability to finally give them the ven- or, you know, take vengeance on the bullshit they pulled. This doesn't feel like that at all. Oh my god. And the shield goes down for so little time.
I can get two shots off with this thing. And this is, I think, the most powerful weapon. Kill it! God damn. We're making progress at least. I was worried we'd be here for another 20 minutes. But we're coming up on the end, I think. That cackling is getting real irritating though. Die! Ugh, still only getting two. There we go. I think not. <sighs> sure, whatever. Nope. Not doing that. I don't want to be king of meat sack paradise. Oh, looks like it's too late. Get suckered into it anyway. Tommy. Am I doing something right now, or is this just a cutscene? Am I driving the sphere into the sun? Is that what's... I think that's what's going on. But I saw you become an orca beast. Man, you look lumpy. Not in a good way. You know what it is? It's her it's her fucking haircut. Your goddamn haircut makes your head look all wonky. I mean your head is wonky, but 
Your haircut makes it worse. Well, that was Prey from 2006, developed by Human Head Studios. Um, it is probably going to have absolutely zero whatsoever to do with the Prey that was announced at the recent E3 2016. It's um, up for a name and, you know, being in space vaguely, um, but we'll see. Um, it's certainly not going to be a remake, I mean, that much is evident. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I guess I can't skip it. I am going to turn off the, uh... <laughs> yes, I'm doing this right in the middle of... Um... Yeah. What do I have to say about the game? I don't know, I've said a lot of what I already feel about the game. It's solid in a lot of ways, it's innovative in a lot of ways, and it is uh, not very good in a lot of ways. Um, you know, design-wise, um, you know, the world is pretty unique. The uh, Some of the mechanics of the, you know, space-time distortion and, and working with gravity and all that are uh, interesting and implemented pretty well. Um, as far as you know, how long this game took to finish, <laughs> it's a little long. Um, it overstays its welcome a bit. Uh, you know, I think I think they could have expanded on it and made it a good, you know, eight, ten, twelve hour experience if they wanted to. But I don't think they had the budget for it. I don't think anyone, you know, it was a new IP at the time. Um, so they wouldn't have been given that sort of budget, I don't think. But, you know, as it is right now, I, I'm always I, I'm always very picky as when, um, you know, games drag themselves out too long. And that's not to say that this game was long. It's not. It's still pretty short. I don't know what the full runtime of, um, you know, all these videos is going to be, but... Uh, I don't think I did a particularly bad job playing the game, nor a particularly good job. I think I did a pretty average, you know, speed of going through the game, maybe a little longer than normal. Um, and it is just, like, pacing-wise, it's it falls apart a bit in, like, the last third, last, last quarter. Um, you know, it's, it's just a bit, a bit too long. Um, you know, graphically, it's not super outstanding, but admittedly, like, it was, it's a 10-year-old game. I don't remember really, really well what graphics looked like at the time, and given that it was a fairly small production, um, I can't really blame it. You know, it, even if the designs, even if visually it's not outstanding, um, the design, design-wise, a lot of this stuff is very well done. Um, although the same corridors and doors and, and, you know, pipes and things over and over again for the more or less the entire duration um, is a little disappointing. It could have done with a little bit of variation there, but, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, this was not a, not a bad choice. I'm glad I finally played all the way through it, um, even if the last little bit was a little frustrating. Um, I'm hoping that you guys all really enjoyed watching this. Uh, if you made it this far, you probably did, at least in some sense. So, oh no, what is this? The bar's back. Okay, well I have control again.
I'm just blocking blocking that off. I'm conf Oh, right, those are the v casino machines, not the um I was thinking I was thinking what arcade what arcade game uses two buttons and no stick of any kind? Oh, shit. Oh boy. Huh. I guess they did have a plan for this to be a series of some kind. Well, like I said, I hope you guys all had a good time watching Thank you for watching, one way or another, whether you enjoyed it or not. Because it's certainly a mixed bag. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.